Honorable representatives, your children and grandchildren will proudly tell their friends that their parent or grandparent helped to pass this law to protect their innocence. Honorable senators, please protect our students and teachers from being forced to live in an alternative universe created by cultural confusion and adolescent fantasies. <laughs> You just heard from Louisiana pastor turned politician John Raymond, who is running to represent District 104 of Louisiana. And the clips that you just watched were featured proudly on his campaign website. The first video was a testimony that he gave in support of a bill to ban LGBTQ plus books from school libraries under the pretense of quote unquote protecting the innocence of children. And the second was a testimony that he gave in support of a bill that would mandate the dead naming of trans people in order to again protect children. And there's Many more videos of him testifying in support of his state GOP's draconian theocratic policies, all in an effort to quote unquote protect children. So you're probably sensing a little bit of a theme here, right? This issue is very close to his heart, apparently, as a parent and headmaster of a Christian academy. Now, to be fair, there's more to John than just wanting to protect children from the LGBTQ plus boogeyman. He also owns a Christian radio station and has produced what he calls music videos, which I would highly encourage you to check out, by the way. And on top of that, he was the first castaway voted out of Survivor Thailand back in 2002. But the main takeaway that I want you to have about John, it's that he really, 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 really cares about protecting kids. That's not me editorializing. That's basically his mission. That's what he focuses primarily on with regards to his political activism. The problem is that kids don't need to be protected from LGBTQ plus people. They need to be protected from him because he's demonstrated multiple times that he literally poses a danger to children considering the fact that he's been charged with four counts of criminal cruelty towards juveniles. As LGBTQ Nation explains, he was arrested last year after he allegedly punished three students by taping their mouths shut. According to NOLA.com, Raymond wrapped packing tape around three 13-year-olds' heads for talking excessively in class. The students were sent back to class where another administrator who felt uncomfortable with the situation removed the tape. The students reportedly had trouble breathing and said that removing the tape was painful. Raymond turned himself into police after they obtained a warrant for his arrest and was charged with three counts of cruelty to juveniles. In a statement, Raymond accused students of quote-unquote bullying a teacher and said that all three were given the choice to either have their mouths taped shut or have him call their parents and be suspended. He denied that the tape was wrapped around their heads and said that it was removed within 10 minutes after the school's principal expressed concern. Raymond was arrested again in May of 2022, this time for allegedly holding a four-year-old boy upside down by the ankles. Raymond was accused of whipping the child's buttocks, and in a separate incident, he was accused of covering the boy's mouth and nose with his hand to stop a tantrum, according to the Lafayette Daily Advertiser. Witnesses said the boy could not breathe and went limp, remaining out of it and lethargic. So we're not talking about a one-off situation. He can't say, look, I lost my temper, I had a lapse in judgment, and I overreacted, because that would be bad in and of itself self, right? But we are talking about an alleged serial child abuser here who poses a real danger to children that he's around seemingly all the time, given that he is the headmaster of a Christian academy. But yet in May, he told USA Today that he's completely innocent and called the allegations preposterous. But at the same time, in April, he released a statement after the story broke, admitting that he taped the boy's mouth shut, but it was only for 10 minutes. Like, we saw that in the article. But at the same time, we know that he's also lying about that because a local CBS affiliate stated that it was about 45 minutes. The arrest by Slidell Police Thursday came after a complaint about March 18th school discipline he administered that was investigated by the Office of Children and Family Services. The police department said another administrator at the school had to cut the tape wrapped around the kids' heads after 45 minutes when they had trouble breathing. So the three boys allegedly had tape over their mouths for 45 minutes, not 10 minutes. And even if it were just 10 minutes, that still is completely unacceptable. But he put tapes over their heads, allegedly, sent them back to class, and they were probably humiliated. On top of that, they couldn't breathe, according to them. So this is serious. This is unacceptable. But 
The allegations are preposterous, even though, mm, yeah, I kind of put the tape on their heads. Uh, it was only for 10 minutes, though. Actually, I didn't put it over their heads. I put it over their mouths. I mean, look, he's full of shit. I don't believe him. I believe that he did do these things, and I think that most people in the community do as well. But when you consider that allegation from the three boys, along with the other allegations that we heard of, right? Physically assaulting these children. He'd go to jail if he did that to an adult, but he spanked them. He held a four-year-old upside down allegedly by the ankles and nearly suffocated a kid to stop a tantrum. I mean, it's evident that this man is a clear danger to children and should not be around any child. But yet, this man wants you to believe that he cares about protecting children, and it's his number one issue. Yeah, kids don't need to be protected from LGBTQ plus people, John. They need to be protected from abusers like you, alleged abusers, I should say. So, once again, we have another instance where an accusation from a Republican politician turns out to be a confession. Because, as we all know, every accusation is a confession. Everything that they say about other groups of people is usually them projecting because they're the ones who pose the danger that they say queer people pose to children. But I mean, the hypocrisy doesn't just stop there. At the time that he was arrested and charged with child cruelty, he was also a member of the executive committee for the Louisiana Republican Party. He's well known in right-wing circles in his state. Now, he's currently running to be a state representative and was formerly officially connected to the GOP in the state. So the question is, what was their response to all of this, right? Because the bills that he testified in, su in support of that you watched at the beginning of this video, those were all pieces of legislation that the state Republican Party sponsored, meaning that they also have made protecting children from LGBTQ plus people in particular one of their main priorities. So the question is, what are they going to do? I mean, naturally, it seems like their only option is to denounce and distance themselves from this man since he was literally charged with child cruelty. So that way, I don't know, people believe them when they say they care about protecting children. But that's not what happened. They have not distanced themselves from him. In fact, the state party has endorsed his campaign. I am not making this up. At the top of his website, you can see the state party's emblem and an image that says that he was endorsed by the Louisiana Republican Party. So I just want to pause right there to take this all in. The Republican Party of Louisiana, who has dedicated a lot of time on the taxpayers' dollars, mind you, to protecting children, is choosing to endorse somebody who is charged with child cruelty. Make it make sense, because it doesn't. Now, to make matters even worse, it's not like this was the only choice, and there was nobody else in the race. There was another Republican in the race that they could have endorsed instead. But they didn't do that. Even though, if you go to the opponent's website, the opponent of John Raymond, to be clear, it's one of the first things you see when you look at his issues page is that he wants to protect children. So the state party literally has another option who says clearly that I, too, want to protect children, presumably from the LGBTQ plus boogeyman. And the Louisiana Republican Party said, mm, sorry, man, we're going to go with the guy who was charged with child cruelty instead. It just is so outrageous that you have to assume this is a mistake, right? Perhaps he took it upon himself to pretend like he was endorsed, and he put that on his website when they didn't actually endorse him. This wouldn't be the first time that this has happened, right? We've seen politicians in the past pretend like they were endorsed or imply heavily that they were endorsed when they didn't actually get that endorsement. So perhaps he is lying or he assumed that they would endorse him since he has a longtime association with the party. But no. That's not actually right either. The Shreveport Times reached out to the state Republican Party and asked them, did you really endorse the alleged child abuser after your whole thing has been protecting kids? And the response was, yeah, of course we did. They explain Louisiana Republican Party chairman Louis Gervich confirmed in a text that the executive committee endorsed Raymond. Raymond's opponent in the race for the House District 104 seat, fellow Republican Jay Gall of Manville, said he was shocked by the endorsement. I bet. As a lifelong Republican, it's an embarrassment, said Gall, while acknowledging Raymond's right to the presumption of innocence. Quote, the party puts itself out there as a protector of children, said Gall, a former Marine and businessman who now 
now manages his family's real estate portfolio. Quote, I can't express how disappointed I am that the Louisiana Republican Party has chosen to endorse a candidate with not one, not two, not three, but four criminal charges of cruelty to children. And I mean, yeah. Jay's right, but uh, Jay, you might not have child abuse charges against you, but uh, were you on Survivor, though? Because we kind of want to go with the guy who was on Survivor. Maybe the uh, Louisiana Republican Party is just CBS reality show diehards. <laughs> they just, they're like, nope, that guy, he was on Survivor, so... We want that clout, I guess. It's going to help us with the younger demographics, the kids who are still watching Survivor in 2023. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I would say that this is extremely embarrassing, not just for the Louisiana Republican Party, but Republicans everywhere. But I mean, that point is moot because this party doesn't have the capacity to feel shame. So, of course, they're not going to be embarrassed by something that is incredibly hypocritical. Oh, and one more thing. The district leans heavily towards Republicans and there's no incumbent, so he's probably actually going to win. Yeah. Now, John Raymond has previously stated that he doesn't actually think the charges are going to interfere with his campaign, and so far he's been proven correct. So, uh, yeah. There you have it. This is the modern Republican Party in a nutshell. They are so concerned about protecting kids that they're going to endorse a man literally charged with four counts of child cruelty to demonstrate that they're really dedicated to protecting ch uh, children. I mean, Jesus Christ, it feels like this is a parody, but nope, it's just the modern day Republican Party, folks. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay, 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 gay